This is Jimi Hendrix, and this is episode 151, Planning Visions on Empower Your Pattern 2.0. Did you know that there are success patterns to help you receive more, help you receive, and live and enjoy a better and extraordinary life right now? Well, I'm Jimmy Hendrick, self-published author, success, confidence, and thrive coach, adversity authority, member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, and I'm ready to teach you these success patterns. Let's go. Now, to tell you the truth, these are kind of the building blocks of what's been happening with me. And so I want you to be uh, to be ready. March, April, nineteen ninety-eight. Pictures of Texas Tech Holden Hall. Pictures of Texas Tech University. Here you are. I'm taking the last of my political science classes. Well, one of them anyway. Constitutional law, okay? I'm taking constitutional law, and after class, a lot of the uh, students would come up and ask uh, the professor about good planning ideas after graduation. Some, like me, wanted to go straight into law school. Others wanted to do graduate school and then law school. And others, well, still others wanted to combine. Well, the fact of the matter is, whether in law school or personal development, I've learned a lot from professors like... Uh, um, Abraham Mendelssohn from Dr. Uh, well, these are pseudonyms from Dr. Richard Wilde but I still need to plan a vision and since I knew that there was no public law school at the time near where I was going. I thought I'd go into graduate school to study political science at UT Arlington. I was going to try to go ignorantly, I don't know why, I was going to try to go for a master's of political science at UT Arlington. I thought, well, well wow, that, that would be a wonderful idea. And, or another possibility was to go for a bachelor's in history pre-law at UT Arlington. So that I could try eventually to get to get into law school. I pictured myself being in lecture hall at University Hall, UT Arlington. You know. I, I picture myself being in those lecture halls. But <laughs> I'm just going to be as bluntly honest with you as I possibly can. I don't think I've ever seen, a, a, with maybe some rare exceptions like maybe business, a graduate class taught in a lecture hall. Now that's just being, you know, completely, well, honest. 
but I honestly thought that maybe I could I could make a difference. See, planning visions is very important. I remember talking to Keith. To, to be honest with you, I was very angry I was very angry because our the local chapter of the Permian Basin National Federation of the Blind broke up and for one of the reasons was that Jim Bob had asked me to vote and, and my ex wife Chris to elect him president of the chapter and it just it just imploded things to be honest with you, during part of that time, things weren't going so good. But I think at some point, Chris and I, we we had gotten closer again. You know, 1998, it had, it had its good points. I would say earlier that year, not so much later on. Like, you know, um, from July on, maybe... June or May, who knows? But the thing is, you've got to be able to plan your dream and your vision. And this is something I need to be a little bit more disciplined in. Sitting down, writing your goals. See, and that's the thing I need to understand. I got a speech. I got a keynote speech for the a local meeting of the John Maxwell team in um here in Odessa, Texas at the LMCM Elegante Friday, October 8th my keynote speech is going to be at 2 p.m. and so I'm thinking to myself I need to work a little bit better and a little bit more diligently in putting my best foot forward than being uh, reactive that's a good thing about my political science training Pe people like uh, Dr. Mendelssohn and uh, Dr. Schaefer and others, they taught me not to be reactive. Because you see, that's what the world wants us to be. Throw us off our vision by being reactive. You know, I believe in having a political opinion. But I don't think that everybody should be like reactionary over over it, you know. I used to think when older people say, you know, politics is not the end all be all for, you know, or to determine what happens to us. That it, it basically comes down to our individual life and choices. But well, as you will see in this in this uh last part of the series uh, I learned very quickly that in part that's true now I still have my own political ideology you know I support it but you see all the moves and everything I had to do Keith, Keith supported me and I wasn't alone and, 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 and he wasn't the only one there was there was Kevin Young. Let's just call him Kevin. Sorry. Let's just call him Kevin. Anyway, he's like, you know, Jimmy, I, I love you and Keith and and, and moving to Dallas would be good. He said, I got I gotta move back out now that I've got my, my bachelor's and my master's degree. He said, you know, maybe maybe something good will come to it. So planning your vision. The last thing's a pseudonym, okay? I feel bad about that, just spelling off. <laughs> but the thing is, I've been excited about doing this particular podcast for a while. P planning your visions. We've done a lot of things about 
soft skills. But planning is, is uh, planning a vision is is uh, essential because you see visions have a success pattern, and it's up to us to know what those success patterns are. It's up to us to know what the success patterns are, so that we can be in charge, so that we can learn, and so that we can win. Now, I hope that you enjoy listening to Empower Your Pattern 2.0. If you like what you hear, please subscribe. Become a part, a citizen of Pattern Realm. This is Jimi Hendrix saying, until next time, please share this with Mama-san, Papa-san, and everyone. Do what others don't so you can be what others won't. Do what others don't so you can have what others can't. Choose, act, and pursue happiness. God bless you.